Welcome to the All-Star Math Video Tutor. This is Mr. Easter and the topic of this lesson is solving equations with variables on both sides. Let's see if you can solve for the variable. Our goal is to isolate and solve for the variable and our method is to use addition or subtraction to move all the terms with the variable onto one side of the equation. In our first example we have 9a plus 2 is equal to 4a minus, eight, minus 18. Because we have 9a on the left side, we're going to move our 4a over onto the left side because there are 9, which is greater than the 4 on the right side of the equation. Before I move on, I want to review a little bit about our inverse operations. Our inverse operations help us solve, and the inverse of addition is subtraction and our inverse of multiplication is division. So if we are going to take our 4a and combine it with a 9a, we need to subtract 4a because 4a is positive. If you look to the left, there's no negative sign there. So to get rid of it, we'll subtract 4a and we will do the same exact thing on the left side of our equation. Getting rid of our 4a over here, leaving us with 5a plus 2 is equal to negative 18. Because we have all of our a's on the left side, we're going to move our 2, which is positive 2, to the right side of our equation. By using our inverse operations, the inverse of positive 2 would be negative 2. Canceling out our 2, we're left with 5a on the left side. Negative 18 minus 2 more will give us negative 20. Our last step to get a by itself is to remove the 5. Because 5 and a are next to each other, they're being multiplied. So we can divide by 5, which is the inverse of multiplication, and a is equal to negative 4, because a positive and a negative divided are always negative. Our next example is similar to example 1. 4x plus 4 equals 2x plus 36. Our 2x is positive, so to combine it with the 4x on the left side, we're going to subtract 2x, subtract 2x, which will remove our 2x on the right side, leaving us with 2x plus 4 is equal to 36. All of our x's are on the left side already, so all we have now to do is to remove our positive 4 from the left side which we can do by subtracting because subtraction is the inverse of addition. So 2x is equal to 40. And our last step, you guessed it, is to divide by 2 because the 2 and the x are next to each other, which represents multiplication. So we'll divide by 2, and x is equal to 20. Our next example involves a little bit of the distributive property. Before we begin solving and moving our variables around and our constants around, we want to take our 1 half and distribute it into what is inside of our parentheses, 4d minus 2. If we distribute the 1 half to the 4d, we're going to get 4d over 2. If we distribute the 1 half to the negative 2, we're going to get minus 1. Now our 4d over 2 simplifies to 2d minus 1 equals d plus 5. Now it looks like one of the problems we dealt with before in this lesson. Because we have two d's on the left side, we're going to go ahead and combine this d with it. To get rid of it, we'll subtract the d. We'll subtract a d over here also to keep it balanced. These d's will cancel out, and we will have d minus 1 on this left side equals 5. And our last step is to get rid of this negative 1. Now the inverse of subtracting 1 or negative 1 would be to add 1, which would give us d is equal to 6, which is the solution to this equation. Now if you wanted to check your answer, you guessed it. You could go take your solution and put it right back in for each of the d's in the equation. And if both sides end up equaling each other, you know you have used the correct solving steps. Nice job. This is the end of this all-star math video lesson.